What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to track your cryptocurrencies in Google Sheets and this will be pulling live crypto data. You can see right here I have Bitcoin, Litecoin, a whole bunch of other popular uh, cryptocurrencies and this is the current price as I'm recording it. If we were to change this to how about Litecoin, you could see the price updates, the chart updates, the market value, everything updates. So let's change that back to Bitcoin. So BTC, USD. And you can see right here, we could add coins too. Everything is dynamic. Everything updates. So it took some time to figure this out, but I am now going to reveal it to you guys. So you know exactly what you need to do to track your cryptocurrencies in Google Sheets. And before I do that, the only thing I'm going to ask of you guys is to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I have tons of videos, tons of playlists going over Google Sheets, a whole bunch of other different tips and tricks and tutorials in the stock market. Uh, and if you want, you could support me on Patreon or you could even check out my uh, Discord. I finally got a Discord, trying to grow that as well. But let's jump right in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually copy all of this. We're gonna jump over to a brand new slate and we're gonna paste this right here to get things started. So there's one thing that we need before anything else, and that's going to be our price. We want to know where are we pulling price from, and it's none other than Yahoo Finance. So here's Bitcoin. It's currently $26,628. We're going to be pulling from Yahoo Finance. Now here's the only thing. It's not perfect yet. We're actually pulling the previous close price, which is down here. Can't get the live price, unfortunately. It'll have all of this after it, and then it just doesn't convert well. Uh, so this is the best I got for you guys. At least it's something. Uh, there really is no good place to pull cryptocurrencies yet. Hopefully in the future, it will make it easier. We could find it on Finviz, and then that will solve all of our problems. But we're going to be pulling from this. I'm going to be pulling this number right here. So we'll have a little delay. But it's the best I got. So let's jump right in on how to do it. So the first thing we want to do is do equals if is blank. So if you guys have watched my other videos before, you already know about that. Uh, so pretty much what this is saying is if A3, which is where we're putting in our coins, is blank, then we want to leave this cell blank. This is so we don't get a bunch of NAs going all the way down. It looks cleaner. I like it that way. So after that, we're going to do an index and then we're going to do import and you want HTML, not XTML. So we're going to do HTML and if you guys have watched my videos before, you already know where this is going to go. We're going to do concatenate. So appends strings to one another. It's a little bit of coder language for you guys that don't know. When you put anything in quotations like that, it makes it a string. Um, and then the concatenate will allow us to add stuff into that string. So what are we going to be adding into this string? Well, Yahoo Finance's uh, address right up here. So HTTPS, Yahoo Finance, quote, all the way before you see BTC. So before we pull that, this is what we want. So you could copy that, go back into here. We could paste it, close that off, hit comma, and then we click on A3. Then we could close that. So what do we do from here? Well, now we need to pull from a table. So you're gonna type in table, close that. So what table are we pulling from? Well, let's jump back to Yahoo Finance. There are two tables here. This is table one, this is table two. We wanna pull from table one and we want the previous close, which is right here, that 26,628. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back up here and we're gonna hit one that means we're pulling from table one. We're going to close that off. And then we want to do one comma two, close both of those off. So that one comma two represents row one, column two. So that's column two. And this is the first row. This is row one, row two, row three. So you can pull any of this data. You just got to mess around with where you want to pull from within the table. So we got table one, row one, column two. We hit enter and now it's blank. You must be wondering what I do wrong. Well, nothing. That is the if is blank. So if A3 is blank. So if we go back to here and if we type in BTC 
dash USD. Hit enter. You could see the price updates. And then if you want, we could add a dollar sign onto it. So then we could convert it to a currency. We could center it as well. I always like to center everything. We'll center Bitcoin as well. And we got the price. That's the hard part. I mean, the rest is going to be smooth sailing. But from here, what you want to do is actually click on that. Go here and depending on however many coins you want or plan on owning, whether it's 10, 20, 100, let's just scroll down to how about 20 for now. So now I just put that code in all the way down to 20. So you can see all of these are updating A5, A6, A7, A8, A9. So if we go here, let's add some Litecoin. There you go. Litecoin is now in there as well. So you could keep adding all the coins you have. If we want to go over here, maybe just copy what I had here. So let's copy and let's put that into here. Great. Now we have all of the different coins. We move on to the next step and that's going to be market cap. So how do we get market cap? Well, much like price, we're going to be pulling from Yahoo Finance and it's just going to be a different place. So market cap isn't here. Market cap is over here. So we're not pulling from, we can't do table one, column one or whatever. And that's because this is table two. So we pulled from table one. So now we got to change it to table two, column one, uh, sorry, row one, column two. So we're taking table two, row one, column two. So if we go over here, we could just kind of copy this and then paste it there. You just want to make sure this stays A3 and A3. You don't want that changing to B3. That'd be pulling from the coins. But if we do that and we go over here and just change this to table two, row one, column two, hit enter, auto fill. Now you can see all of this is right. This is the market cap. So if we jump over here, you see it says the market cap is 494 billion. It says 495. There's going to be some slight variance, but it's uh, it's pretty close for the most part. Uh, and now circulating supply. So if we go to Yahoo Finance, you can see the circulating supply says NA. I don't know why it says that on Yahoo Finance, but the code is actually there. This is what I mean. So we know we're going from table two. Now we're going row two, column two. So two, two, two. So if we jump over here, we're going to copy this again, right? So you could copy all of this. We go to circulating supply, paste that. So change this one to a two. And look at that. It's actually there. So let's just center that. Make the text the same. Make that 11. Okay. So you can see that it's there. I mean, the code is there. For some reason, it doesn't show up on Yahoo Finance's end. But this is currently how many coins are out. So that works. Again, I don't know why it's not showing up on Yahoo Finance's end. But who cares? Our Google Sheets are better than Yahoo Finance. Here it is. So now we're almost done with at least plugging everything in. So then we could have a fully functioning uh, tracker. And then we could start to add in some charts. So now we need to do market value and coins. Let's say we own 1, 210. 5,000, 1,150, all right? That's just making it exactly the same for what I already have over here. So now how do we get the market value? Well, this is the easy part. You guys should already know how to do this. We're gonna do equals, if is blank, if is blank, A3, close, comma, parentheses. You see that it says false, so it's not going to do that. Um, and then what we want to do is our price times however many coins we have. It's very simple. Hit enter. That's it. Autofill. And there's all of our market values. And if we just jump over, you see all of those. If we jump over to this one, you can see everything's right. 
All it's doing is just taking whatever the current price is and multiplying it by however many coins you have. And that's what you're getting there. So it's very straightforward, very simple. So if you want, you can take this, make this a color. So we'll just kind of, I think I had it like a yellow or something like that. That looks good. Now we could move on to the charts. Guys, we already did the hard part. This is now done with. We could jump over to the charts. But before that, again, I like to remind you guys, smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways, let's jump over to the charts. So you're going to go to insert and you're going to go down to chart. You're going to click on that. And what we want is a pie chart. So we're going to do a pie chart and we're going to go to label. It says select data range. Well, where do we want our data range? That's going to be all of our cryptos. So just go down the chart like that, hit OK, and then value. Well, what's their values? You're going to click on value, go to your data range, and it's going to be the market value. So that's going to be row C. Go all the way down, hit OK, and then there you go. Now you might be thinking, hold on, what I have over here is this nice 3D. How do I do that? Well, that's actually simple. If you just click on this, to bring up this where it says donut chart. And then if you click on donut chart and then click on 3D, it makes it 3D with the donut. So it's a nice little uh, trick to know. But now we could go to customize and let's add in titles. So your title, about my wallet or my crypto wallet, I think I had it. You could bold it. Uh, we'll make the color black. And we will center that. Maybe make the text a little bit bigger. That looks good. And then if you want, what you could do, and you could see over here, I made the background purple and I made all these different colors. Uh, to do that, it's really simple. If you go to customize, and you go to chart style, background color, change that nice uh, purple that I had it. And then how do we change all of these? If you double click on them, I just clicked on where Bitcoin was. This pops up your pie slice. So then I can change this to whatever color I want. So I had that one like a nice orange, a light coin, a dark blue, something like that. This one was a grayish. This one was black. And I think I just kind of matched the colors with, uh, you know, whatever the color of the coins are. Uh, let's see. This one was like a dark gray. We had a light green for the Neo one. Something like that. And this one was kind of a dark blue, something like that. But anyways, you can mess around with the colors, make them whatever you want. We could close this up, make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Let's X out of that. And we could take this and bring it over here. And then the very last one, I actually think I had this even smaller, maybe something like that. Let's take a look. Eh, it was even smaller, I guess. There we go. So now the last part is now adding in that bar chart as well. So to do that, it's very simple. It's going to be the exact same thing. Essentially, we're going to go over to chart. Uh, but instead, you're going to go to bar chart. Well, that's a stacked one. It's a combo. Here we go. Column chart. And same deal, our X axis are going to be the cryptos. So highlight all of that. And our series is going to be our values. So highlight that. We now have that created. <clears throat> we double click on that. There is a way to make them 3D. Right here, you click on 3D. There you go. And then again, for the background, I had it that purple. Um, for all of these, I just had them the same color and it was 
that like orange color, I believe. There we go. And almost done here, guys. The last thing is going to our title again. And we'll add my crypto market. Whoops. Missed a C. My crypto market value. And again, we can make that black, bold it, make the text a little bit bigger, and center it. X out of that. Shrink that a little. Gotta shrink that a lot more. And there we go. That is your custom cryptocurrencies tracker we are pulling from yahoo finance it is not perfect because it's not the current value but it is the previous close value at least this is a better way for you to track it in google sheets to pull the data again if you guys know how to pull it from elsewhere drop those comments below reach out to me and let me know i can make a video of that so we could all learn together but other than that uh, you guys rock smash that like button subscribe if you haven't already as always, I will see you guys in the next one.